During the pandemic, many people have taken up cycling for a new hobby. It's available for people of all different abilities, and you can do it safely outside still. But this ride, the Bike to the Beach ride, has been going on for a decade, and not only is it fun, but it also raises important funds for nonprofit organizations who at this time need it the most. There's so much potential in each and every person out there, including people with autism, and that's where our work stems from. It's why they ride. Before sunrise, a group from Boston, including dozens of Boston University men's and women's lacrosse team players, hopped on the saddle and rode bikes straight through to Woonsocket. Well, it's fun. Our whole team's doing it. We're doing it for charity. It's a good cause. I mean, it's tough, but it's enjoyable. And when we get to the finish line, it'll feel pretty good. The BU team of cyclists alone raised over $70,000, all to be donated through Bike to the Beach to local nonprofit organizations like Amigo Inc., which provides all types of services for people with autism. Amigo hosted this water table stop in Woonsocket, which was also the start of a shorter 60-mile ride option to Newport. Well, this is our first year um, joining the organization, um, so we're going to see how it goes. We had a, a successful water stop, and um, next year we hope to do the 100. Yeah. Organizations that hosted water stops could keep all the money their teams raised as part of Bike to the Beach. The pandemic was a, was a really big hit for a lot of our local nonprofit partners. Not only did they have to deal with changing their programs to support their clients, they also lost a lot of their events. And we're really proud that last year, despite the pandemic, we were able to host a, a safe and responsible COVID-19 friendly event. But this year, organizers say they're back to pre-pandemic levels. Feels good. It's good to see everyone again. It's good to see the level of activity. As executive director of Bike Newport, Barry Freeman says they've partnered with Bike to the Beach since the beginning. So you ride the entire state in like a morning or you know by by late lunch. There was also a shorter option of 25 miles taking off from Bristol and ending in Newport. In Woonsocket, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.